We started in 1958, and basically this day is um, to remember kind of a sad, well, a very tragic event that happened in 1928, on June 20th, when uh, the leader of the Croatian Peasant Party of Croatia was assassinated. We try to get Croatians together to celebrate culture, uh, to celebrate history, to celebrate food, uh, to celebrate community, really. I've been volunteering here for years. We've been having this picnic on the same day. And, uh, you know, there could be anywhere from uh, two to 500 people show up for one of these picnics. It's really fantastic because the whole community comes together. I came to Canada in the fall of 62, and my first Croatian Day picnic was um, in North Vancouver at the time in Swedish Park and uh, that was in 1963. So I have been in attendance every single year <laughs> since 1963. My mother and my father are Croatian. Luckily they taught me the language and I speak the language. Um, you know, we've traveled there every year since we were kids and visited. We have an apartment over there on the Adriatic Sea, just south of Split in a beautiful coastal village called Omish and um, it's wonderful because uh, I have lots of relatives back in the old country and we visit them and uh, we support them and we, we hang out with them and uh, Croatia is beautiful, the beaches are absolutely the best in the world, the water is warm. Recently uh, someone asked me that at an interview and I said well if you don't know where you come from it's very difficult to be a good citizen of the country you're living in and you know I'm very proud to be uh, Canadian and I, uh, I'm a retired teacher, teacher librarian. I taught French immersion for years. My father thought it was important that in Canada you learn both languages since they were both official languages. Um, and my husband's a member of the band. Uh, he happens to be Croatian. <laughs> So he uh, plays a lot of traditional music. He plays the accordion and uh, he learned that from his father. We try also to, with our bake sale, traditional baking, uh, raise money. In the past it's been for a scholarship. Uh, sometimes it's for, you know, when Croatia had an earthquake or um, if there's a family in need, there was a, a fellow who needed surgery and his parents couldn't afford it he had to have the surgery here. So we try to help out the community uh, here and back home um, and just to keep the spirit alive, really, the language al alive. Nadam se da ste sve imali lipi dan danas na Hrvatski dane. Hvala puno što ste došli. Budite dobro, vidimo se uskoro. Hvala puno.